Good evening, everybody. Um, lovely to have you in your company again. Uh, I've just been doing a bit of a choir rehearsal with TMC Choir. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> I said I'd be a bit later. So uh, I've done that and I'll find the bits and pieces for this evening. So where's my list? Here's my list. Various requests again. And so I can uh, play along, play you some of those. And um, I had a request to play the King of Love, uh, which in hymns and psalms is 69. The tune Dominus Regit Me by J.B. Dykes, who I think at one stage was, might have been organist at Truro Cathedral. I, I, I forget. Don't quote me on that because I'm good at making things up. It's 69 in hymns and psalms and 479 in singing the faith. The king of love my shepherd is. Um, a setting really of the 23rd psalm, isn't it? So um, uh, here we are then. two words which I'm not sure about and I'd be, be delighted for somebody to tell me what thy unction grace bestoweth means. So you scholars out there, please, thy unction grace bestoweth. I know what bestoweth means, means to give, um, but that was a, that was a, I was, the, the word furlough has been used quite a lot, hasn't it? As a word that I thought, well, well a, a furlough, I once thought, well, a furlong is a distance, but a furlough is obviously something to do with, with perhaps resting. And um, uh, my cousin, uh, David, who I had a conversation with this morning, we were talking about this, and he, he was saying this word furlough, and uh, once again, don't quote me on this, but um, it's almost like when a house apparently went into furlough, 
um, he put draped blankets over the furniture and things, apparently. So um, um, we've got visions now of Janet, who's home on, on furlough, being being covered with a dust sheet, you know. But um, there we go. So uh, so once again, a, a dictionary definition would be lovely. That would be good. Now uh, going on to two hundred and twenty-four. Um, <clears throat> to um it is a thing most wonderful and the tune heron gate this has not made it into singing the faith along with um the other hymns this evening in actual fact heron gate now i love the words of this hymn uh, i love the tune and um it, the tune is by ralph form williams english composer with a very very distinctive style and probably this was a folk tune uh rafe Vaughan Williams was very good at collecting folk songs. Possibly this was a folk song. I don't know. We'll have to go and look it up. Um, but it's it's rather lovely. Now I just let on a little secret here, because um, the altos only get about four notes in the whole tune. Um, now perhaps um, Vaughan Williams wasn't very fond of altos, and he said, oh, "Well, I'll just." Give them a tune which goes. So in the first two lines, they only get to sing two notes. And so my altos at Truro Methodist, or the church's altos in the choir, have uh, often commented about this, and I always raise a little smile um, whenever we do this hymn. So uh, with apologies to altos anywhere. Uh, Heron Gate. It is a thing most wonderful, almost too wonderful to be, that God's own Son should come from heaven and die to save a child like me. Eighty-seven is the next one on my list. Once again, this is not in singing the faith. Come ye that love the Lord. And uh, this was requested by Christopher and Janet George. And um, and um, there are several tunes to this hymn, as you can see in the book, or well, if you've got a tune book, there's the tune 
Mount Ephraim? I don't really know. It's one of those sort of 17th century tunes and then a tune by Gaunt Lurt. Which is rather lovely, but the one I'm going to do it tonight is with the chorus. We're marching to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Can we that love the Lord and let our joys be known? Let those refuse. Yes, oh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong line. Join in a song with sweet accord, join in a song with sweet accord. I've just got four verses here. Um, verse one, and then verse two is verse three. Let those refuse to sing. And the next verse will be uh, verse 5. So I'm just going to do verse 1, verse 3, and verse 5. Come we that love the Lord, let those refuse to sing, then let our songs abound. Got a wonderful chorus. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion. The beautiful city of God. So, uh, and it's to this jolly tune, um, <coughs> which uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy singing. <coughs> so, here we go. Come we that love the Lord. So that's the tune uh, <clears throat> uh, for that anyway. So moving on, now I've lost everything now that I need. Now, there we go. Uh, <coughs> uh, so that was for uh, Christopher and Janet George. Christopher, as we know, one of our congregation, and Janet as well, and farming out there at Tresillion, and how important it is that... Uh, these people are able to continue doing the job which they do without uh, people like Chris and his son Paul. We would be short of something to go on our breakfast cereal, I think, so or to put in our tea. So um, keep up the good work, people. Um, I'm going to play 336. How wonderful this world of thine, a fragment of a fiery sun, how lovely and how small where all things serve thy great design where life's adventure is begun in god the life of all and uh, once again lovely words by fred pratt green 
and the tune by that dearly loved uh, Methodist musician Hubert Julian. And uh, he had a suggestion that perhaps I played uh, Hubert's tune, Pole Wheel. Uh, and so I'm going to do that for you now. The hymn is 336. Sadly, neither tune or words made it into singing the faith so um it's hymns and psalms how wonderful this world of thine Interesting to know if Hubert had the words in his mind when he wrote the tune or whether he, he just composed the tune pole wheel. Of course, um, Hubert lives at, uh, at top, going up Kenwyn Hill, that little home park. That great, he was a great supporter of Plymouth Argyle, so a little home park. A tremendous musician, did so much for so many years. And he was a, a joy to, to work with and work for. Um, Celtic Voices. Celtic Chorale originally, the choir that um, Hubert formed for a festival service um, and then we went on to uh, continue after the festival service. His attention to detail and phrasing and shape and meaning of the words was just something else really and, um, uh, and, and with Celtic Voice, Celtic Chorale actually we recorded a, a cassette uh, when the new hymn book came out, as we're finding with this book, um, then uh, we're, we're, we're losing some of those favourites. And Hubert, we did a, a, a cassette tape, How Sweet Their Memories Still, I think it was. And the hymns that got left out of, uh, hymns that were left out from the Methodist hymn book, we recorded some and they were, it was a rather a lovely thing to do down at Rodruth Wesley. Anyway, <clears throat> and I'm going to finish this evening. Uh, I had a request from um, Anne Luke. Now Anne, as you know, or may know or not know, is our catering uh, officer at our church and does a splendid job. You name it and uh, she does it. Our Sunday lunches are something uh, quite special. And I don't always get there, uh, but then... I'm told when I get there in the evening for church, uh, 
do pick up one, Phil. Um, though there's a lunch uh, left for you. Um, so I'm well cared for. So a grateful thanks to Anne. Now Anne asked if I would pray because he lives. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. And this comes from Mission Praise. And um, I'll happily do that. You may not know the words. So I, I'll try and sing along the words <clears throat> as best I can. But the chorus, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. So there is a, a reason for getting up tomorrow. Um, and there is a certain future ahead. And of course, this is well loved by um, members of the former Praise Makers Choir. Um, we used to sing this in concert with a, a big uh, a, a, a arrangement of this. I'll try and find that at some stage and see if I can play it. Um, <clears throat> and, um, and of course the soloist in this uh, was Nikki Julian, who is now Nikki Taylor, uh, Hubert's daughter. So um, there's a little tie in there. So I'm going to finish with Because He Lives. I will sing the verses, but please join in the chorus. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. <laughs>
well there we are <clears throat> so tomorrow's another day we've got something to look forward to and um I'll be here again tomorrow evening. I've got some more tunes. I've been requested some I haven't yet got round to playing, but I will. So um, thank you for looking and listening in. And um, good night, take care, and God bless.